This is Sean McConnell, and this is Real Life, Real Music. Real Life, Real Music Radio, with your host, Kyle Hutton. Sean, how are you doing this evening? I'm so glad to be here, man. We are so glad. This is awesome. I'm already having fun. Yeah, it's, and it's, it's been way too long since you've been in this room, and you and I, I, I've had the opportunity to see you here as a fan, and then we've had the opportunity to do this show. Uh, it, I, I think this is probably I, actually our third time to do this show, but uh, man, it's always great to have you back in this room. I'm so glad to be back. I've got so many good memories in this room, and it's, it's been, I mean, Steve, we're trying to figure it out backstage, but at least three or four years, and um, i got so many so many great memories in this room. I've been really looking forward to these two nights. Yeah, well, first thing I want to tell you is thank you. Uh, I know you've got a Texas run. Uh, you're actually going to be playing right here again tomorrow night. So yeah. if, you, if you don't get enough fun today, then you need to come back tomorrow night. Um, but, uh, man, thank you. We, we've done this one other time when you kicked off. You kicked off a run uh, with us coming and doing this show. And to me, uh, there's just something special uh, about getting to sit down almost like we would be in a really big living room with all these people and uh, yeah. and and talk about the songs that you've been writing and talk about what's going on in your life. So thank you for giving us this date and for kicking kicking your tour off with us tonight. Oh, thanks for the invite. I'm you're, really excited. You're very welcome. Well, before we start asking a bunch of questions and I start taking you down a bunch of rabbit trails, why don't you just pick a song that you want to kick us off with after a three-year hiatus from this room? Oh, no pressure. <laughs> Three year hiatus. Yeah, let's do. This is my friend, Mr. Ben Alamont, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Normally I'll wait a while to introduce the band, but since there's only three of us on stage and we're such a small family tonight, it would feel awkward <laughs> for you to not know who he is before you hear him. Yeah, let's do. I still believe in D. Make sure this thing is in tune here for you fine folks. I don't tune guitar for tomorrow night, but the first night you guys get the in-tune guitar. <laughs> it's a special we're running. Anybody already got their tickets for tomorrow night? Oh, yeah, a few of you. Yeah, Fantastic. Good. That's awesome. The double dippers. That's right. Nothing is 
so much <laughs> nice, nice, nice. <laughs> yeah all right so you started off heavy it's the only it's the only way to fly that's the only way to fly it's not I, mince words like i was gonna get to this song i wasn't gonna start with this song i right. was gonna get to this song but i love it it's the first it is the first uh track on the newest studio album from sean a horrible Beautiful Dream, a collection of songs that I believe most of them were written and all of them recorded, you know, within and around the pandemic. Um, but man, that first one, the first time I heard that song, uh, so many thoughts and so many questions uh, uh, as that song resonated with me. Um, but tell us, tell us a little bit where that one came from. I usually don't go back and ask the artist about the first song they play, but that that song is uh, really special. Tell tell me a little bit about that one. Um, a lot of these songs, and I'll try to not do this to you because it makes for a horrible interview. But a lot of these songs are like, I don't remember a lot about when they started. Like I, I remember them being finished. Yeah. But um, I don't remember a lot about the last two years. <laughs> but. For some reason, I have like a lack of a memory of the moments that these songs were created, which is, I think, a good sign for like, the record kind of came out of a place that was my favorite place to write from, where it feels like it's just happening through you or like given to you in a way. Yeah. But um, I do vaguely remember it, and I don't know. It's I f it feels like a song that I could have written, pandemic or not. It's just kind of like. Um, this whole record is kind of pulling a thread. A lot of my records are, it's just my, music is so selfish for me. I just, I just work through my own shit <laughs> and, and I hope people enjoy it or connect with it. It's really for me is all it, that's all well, it is. Well, I, 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 but I think that is the, the, the cool thing, at least for me, and I know I probably speak for a lot of the people here, um, that, that you being willing to do that and, and kind of put yourself out there um, allows other people uh, to explore some of those thoughts that are that are maybe going through their head or, or things they're struggling with uh, struggling with in their hearts and and you know you've always had uh, I, I think anybody that's listened to your body of work you've you've always explored uh, the, the the spiritual side of things you you've always uh, Put put that part of what's going on inside you out there, yeah. and and uh, and and that's really cool because I, I think at some level everybody is trying to figure out why they're here and what they believe and all that stuff, and uh, it's fun to walk around in somebody else's head and realize you're not the only screwed up one asking all these questions. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the questions are crucial, man. You know, they are. I think you for to have a real healthy approach to anything, you have to be willing to ask questions that are you know, don't fall in line with what you believe to really know what you do believe. So that's a lot of what that song is. 
Yeah, well, it's great. You, I think you really captured that uh, that that journey uh, on that one. Really nailed I, that one. You, know, you just nailed that one. Nailed it. You nailed that one. So, okay, the the first one that I remember uh, seeing something of off of this brand new record, and and uh, you know, we're we're definitely going to get to some of the hits that you guys want to sing along to. I, I want to ask about uh, the the video that you guys put out. That was a pretty. Uh, uh, it was a pretty um, rare look into uh, your life, and, and oh, I thought you were going to go with the pink bunny outfit. Yeah, music no, video. we'll talk about pink bunnies. We'll talk about pink bunnies later. Okay. But tell us, tell us about Price of Love. Tell us about the video. Update yeah. us on how things are going at the McConnell Farm, and yeah. just how's life? Life is good, man. Life is is good. We've had a good summer. Um, my wife and my daughter are doing really well. She's going to be going into middle school in a couple weeks. And um, I was actually telling Ben when we got here about how much history I have here and that one of my favorite memories is, for anybody that doesn't know me or my family, our daughter is adopted. And the day, um, so we adopted her, but we couldn't bring her home from Ghana where she's from. So there was a couple of months where I came, we landed from adopting her. We couldn't bring her back. I got right in a van to come to her. Texas, which was amazing and also horrible at the same time, having to like, you know, go from Africa to Houston and then try to pretend like I wasn't thinking about all the, all the yeah. stuff that happened. But this was the first day, well, the stage was over there, yeah. um, the first show that I played. And I, I just remember getting on stage and I said, hey, y'all, last time you saw me, this wasn't true, but I'm a dad. And everyone just like got <laughs> celebrated and raised a glass. And it's just one of those m moments that I'll always remember and this room was a, a big part of that and uh so the song is absolutely just 100 percent about my wife and my my daughter it was based on a conversation i had with my mom i was on some tour and uh i think i was like it was a solo tour because i was by myself in my subaru which is where all the thoughts kind of enter your mind <laughs> and i was calling her just telling her how i missed my family and how, you know, it's, it's a dream job, but it's really hard. And she was kind of like, yeah, well, stop complaining because <laughs> uh, it hurts so bad because you have someone you love so much. And that's the price of love. That's the price you have to pay for having a, a wife that you love and a daughter that you love so much. And, and so we got towards the end of the record and there was a couple songs missing. And uh, I went and stayed at a Airbnb that my manager Ross, who's here, um, him and his family own, and I just kind of locked myself away for three or four days, and I thought I would write like five or six really great songs we could pick from to round off the record. And they were all total horseshit, except for this one. <laughs> and uh, I sent it to Ross, I was like, is this, is this like, this is really good, right? Like, I think this feels really good. And he was like, yeah, this is the one. So it was the, I think the last song, or the second to last song, uh, we wrote for the record, and yeah, I, it's one of my favorites to play, and that's as much of that story as I can remember, I think. Well, then let's play it. <laughs> <laughs> I should have been switching guitars while I was talking, like a real professional. Yeah, no worries. Well, if you haven't seen the video yet, for oh, yeah. uh, if you haven't seen the video yet, then you, you've got to go uh, check it out. Check it out on YouTube. You'll get to meet uh, Sean's daughter, Abby, and, and see Mary Susan, and... Uh, it's 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 a really cool it's a really cool picture into into their life. That's a whole other story. Um, I wouldn't bore you guys, but you paid to hear us talk, so I figure I should probably do that. Um, that music video, the way it turned out was beautiful. The process of it was like kind of stretched me a little bit. And like my wife was in it, so we were like kissing in a wheat field, which was something I never thought that I would do. You know, we're not like rolling around on a beach or anything. It's not like, you know, it's not like as good as that. But I think our, our neighbors were driving by and kind of like wondering what was going on. That's awesome. They're like, wow, they're doing really good. They're making it out in a wheat field behind their house. Um, and then we got to the end of the video and we needed more footage and the director who's a friend of ours or the directors who are friends of ours were like, would you guys feel comfortable sending us um, footage, like home footage of, mm. of your family and AB? And I was like really nervous about that because, you know, you don't like just randomly share home footage with yeah. people. 
Um, but we agreed to it, and it's turned out for us to be just like a really great, like expensive scrapbook that we'll always have <laughs> of our family. Well, I loved it. Has anybody else seen the video? Yeah, all right. Make sure you go check it out after hearing the song tonight. I'm glad it reached 5% of the audience. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Money well spent. <laughs> Driving with the day one blues Just outside of Baton Rouge Crying so hard I couldn't see Wishing my baby was next to me I said, Mama, why does it hurt so bad? Worse than pain I Why does it feel the way it does? And she said, baby, that's just the price of love Nothing good comes for free, honey You gotta pay your dues When you got everything You got everything to lose Some people never find it Thank the Lord above Just the price of love mm-hmm. And this child's gonna be the death of me She's taking everything that's left of me I've been sneaking in late just to watch her breathe Watch that blanket rise and fall But she laughed and said that's nothing new When you were that age, honey, I did too Hell in my own way, I still do You're my baby after all Yeah, nothing good comes for free Thank you so much. Yeah. So, Sean, you were right. The first time that you came and uh, did this show, and, and actually the first time I ever saw you perform at do do even before you came to do our show, uh, the, the stage was on the other wall. So, actually, everyone would have been sitting looking that direction kind yeah. of because the stage was over there and this was not there. Um, and... Uh, when you came and, and uh, played our show the first time, we were talking about a brand new record that you had just put out called Saints, Thieves, and Liars. Wow. Yeah. That that's, was, old, that's longer than, ago than I thought. Yeah, yeah, that was the first time that you came to do the show was after that record had been put out. And, and uh, I got to tell you, that record like became one of my favorite records, like front 
to back um, it, it, the, after the first time that oh, I heard thank it. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. And that. Uh, so just to revisit uh, our that very first show, I wonder if you'd pick something off that record. Oh, my gosh. You, you, like anything. <sighs> I'm, I'm going to name think. them to you. All right. Oh, wait. We know one off that record. <laughs> what? Well, that's good. <laughs> But you got the posi- Anything the position that musicians are in right now is we had like two years, like not playing our songs in a way <laughs> like, you know, some shows. But when you're touring, you don't have to practice because you're practicing every night. So we just spent two nights in uh, Louisiana. Me and the band, we're doing some full band shows at the end of this run. And um, so we're kind of like relearning yeah. some stuff. But we know maybe you was on that record. Yeah. I mean, I've played this one out since then, so it's not, it just won't be like, you know, let's dust this one off, but it's from that record. Perfect. <laughs> I totally just undersold that whole thing, didn't I? <laughs> we know you're setting us up. You're about, to, you're about to knock it out of the park. Well, I've played this song here many times, but, you know, maybe we can do another one off the record if I can think of it as well, but we'll, we'll, we'll grease the wheels with this one. This is off the record now. I'm second guessing myself. <laughs> Apparently, I don't celebrate my entire catalog. Can you come to all the shows this week, Kyle, and just <laughs> remind me? But it's all that I 
not the one that you hope for And you're right, you made me high I'll never change Maybe there's not much here to love But maybe you can love me people to a little uh, little service Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, what a great song. I'm glad you picked that one. Hey, I'm glad, I'm glad you remember I'm glad I remembered one. one. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay, so how many of you in the audience are like old enough uh, that, that, you know, like when you bought music as you were growing up, you bought music in a collection called an album or a record. How many of you in here? Of, okay, so, yeah, so, so here's the deal. I mean, I understand it's not that way now, and, you know, we put out singles, and, you know, you can pick the best one off the record or whatever and put that one out. But I still like to listen to music as like a collection of music. And so, Sean, I'm going to tell you... Um, like, I, I really loved uh, Saints, uh, Thieves, and Liars. I loved that record so much that when the self-entitled record came out, I thought, like I have a lot of times when I've fallen in love with a band's record, are they going to be able to, like, is it going to live up to what I felt right. in that first record? Totally. And, man, one of the things that... I, I hope can, this is I going in the right you, direction. It's going the right direction. <laughs> one of the... But, it, but it's, like you said earlier, it, it is... And I got to be honest. It's a lot of pressures. It, it was a, a large disappointment. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I have learned what, what, what lines of communication or, or, or the interview to just avoid. So just the <laughs> fact that I'm going down this trail right. indicates it's going to end well. So... Uh, when, when I plugged that record in, man, I, I want you to know uh, the, the self-entitled that you released in 2016. A and then it's, it's happened again with your records after that, including this new record. I, I just love hearing from you. I love hearing what's going on, uh, and, and I love listening to the albums like in their entirety. But the self-entitled uh, the, the self record that you released in 2016 
has, has a ton of songs on it that I love. But one of the first ones off that record I wanted to ask you about, because I don't think we've ever talked about it, um, is, is Ghost Town. I want you to tell us a, a little bit about that song and maybe play that one for us. Well, we happened to brush that one up, so I'm feeling very relieved right now. <laughs> I said it now, that'll be the one that I totally mess up. Um, yeah, I wrote that song on a drive. I grew up, I'm from Massachusetts, but I, I kind of did like middle school, high school years in Georgia, in a town called Marietta, Georgia. Okay. I did, um, so I go back there. Every once in a while, my, two of my siblings still live in the area. And uh, I was visiting my brother, and I was driving home, And just thinking about, I think we all, most of us probably feel that way. If you've moved away from your hometown and you're driving back, just picturing with, you know, and also me and my family, we're like disgustingly nostalgic people. We like to like wallow in the good and the bad memories for whatever messed up reason that is. But we'll like go to the old houses and take a picture in front of it. We're like disgusting people (laughs) like that. Um. So I was thinking about, you know, like, oh, I drove by this street and that happened there. And my friend used to live in that house. And um, just how the people now that live in that town don't, don't have the same set of memories and how that's just an interesting, like, no one will know that town that I knew and yeah. same for them. And I, I don't know why I was just thinking about the whole ride home. And I, I wrote the song in the car, like while I was driving, I had my phone. I didn't have a guitar in my hand, but I was like, you know. <laughs> I had the lyrics done by the time I got home and wow. recorded like an acoustic vocal version of it. And uh, yeah, and it, that's, that's the story, just kind of driving around the streets you grew up on and reminiscing. Cool. Well, you want to play it for us? I, I'd prefer not. Okay. <laughs> what key are we playing this one in? Do it. I think so, yeah. Are, are we, is this B flat? <laughs> <laughs> That's called Capo 3 in my world, Ben. I don't have to actually learn my instrument like you do. <laughs> All right, gosh, now I'm going to try to remember these lyrics now that I'm in the spot. You know what? I think there's harmonicas in this key. Let's see. I only have like one harmonica, so I have to play songs in the key that it's in sometimes. Sounds right. Because going out and buying one would take too much time, you know. to the ground Turned the left on Trickham Drove by the old place Swore if I could peek inside I'd find us Breaking bread and saying grace Had to drive away Cause everyone around here now's a stranger They don't know they walk on sacred ground See what I can see These apparition memories Still talking, still walking around Living in a ghost town Well I broke Jenny's heart In that Walmart parking lot there's when me and Joe would go get stoned Behind that Texaco truck stop Till his mama called the cops There's a steeple bell ringing From the church that saved my soul And I saw Tommy's name On the marquee down in Montana's pool hall And he's still dreaming rock and roll Stranger, 
They don't know they walk on sacred ground Yeah, they can't see what I can see These apparition memories They walk right through their bodies like a cloud They're living in a ghost town Living in a ghost town There's the lawn I mowed One whole summer traded for an amplifier And an electric guitar my father taught me stairway And I climbed it all the way up to the stars Up to the stars And everyone around here now's a stranger They don't know they walk on sacred ground And they can't see what I can see These apparition memories still talking Still walking around Cause they're living in my ghost town Just walking through my ghost town Living in my ghost town That was fun. Yeah, that's great. So, so uh, when did you learn to play the harmonica? Was that something as a kid, or did you pick it up? I still have not gigging? learned how to play the well, harmonica. You do pretty good. You do pretty good. There's in and there's out. <laughs> pick the right key. You got you got a career. I got it. I know you're a Springsteen fan, and and uh, you know obviously harmonica and acoustic guitar go way back. But man, I love I love hearing it. I've got a great Springsteen story right. for people in Texas because one of my best friends in the world, Wade Bowen, who I played this stage with for the first time, we're both really huge Springsteen fans, maybe only rivaled by my manager, Ross Dupre, who's here, and we're, uh, we're right. part, of the, part of the fan club, but um, I can't remember how long ago this was. It's probably the second year that Bruce on Broadway was going on in New York, and Wade got a hold of a couple of tickets. I think he won a contest or something. Or the, lot, the, the Springsteen Lottery. I mean, everyone's familiar with the Bruce on Broadway yeah. show, I would assume. Um, those of us who celebrate his entire catalog are very <laughs> familiar with it. <laughs> and it's, all, it's on Netflix. I yeah. think. You should watch it if you haven't seen it. But they're hard to get a hold of, and they're super expensive. And he, he got a, a pair of them, and he called me up, and he was like, what are you doing next week? And I was like, I don't know. He was like, you're coming to New York City and we're going to go see Bruce on Broadway. So we spent three days in New York and we got to see Bruce together and we just both sat there and just like cried like little toddlers. <laughs> it was one of the best things I've ever seen in my life. It was I would amazing. I love to see that. You and Wade It was embarrassing. We're hilarious. just kind of looking over at each other like, are you? Okay, good. <laughs> as long as you are. <laughs> That is funny. All right, so I'm going to ask you about another song off of uh, the self-entitled record called Bottom of the Sea. I love that song. Tell, oh, tell us about that one. Yeah, that one came out. Um, a lot of that record was written in a, a cabin that I rented for a week or two. I didn't have many songs, and I was like, I got to get somewhere 
to like not have anything to do but just write, you know, just kind of disappear into, you know, you don't, you have like chunk, as you're a songwriter, like you have chunks of time, like there's family and there's this and yeah. you can get into your zone, but then you have to get out of the zone and sometimes you just need to live in that zone, like, yeah. and not think about anything else. And so I got a cabin and like brought a little recording rig up there and, um, like the first two days I wrote Bottom of the Sea, Beautiful Rose, Holy Days. Wow. Um, a couple of the other ones off that record. I think this was one of the first ones of that trip. Um, and again, I don't really... Sometimes I write down with a, I want to say this and sometimes it's just like, oh, there's a song, you know, mm-hmm. and it happened really quick and it's really become one of my favorites and kind of the most well responded to. I think people just relate. It's kind of like the hero's journey, you know, like the Joseph Campbell thing, just like we're all trying to be the best versions of ourselves. And that takes us on a hero's journey. That's hard and amazing and magical. And I don't know. And the kids seem to love this song all the time. They're like, will you play the ocean song? They all, like, they all call it the ocean song. (laughs) Which is kind of weird because I don't even think I say ocean in it, but it's just like must be a visual. There you go. Y'all want to I'm hear huge that one? with the kids. Huge with the kids. Yeah. Huge in Asia, and I'm huge with the you know <laughs> two to six year olds. The, the music, they just it's huge. All um, right. Well, they want to hear it. Let's do it. What key did we do that one in? <laughs> or C? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah. Known you're gonna die. I'm trying to leave a legacy with only so much time. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm getting sick and tired of living on the surface and in between the lines. I'm going down to the bottom of the sea until I found. Sleeping in the blue Cause I'll find them all bad It's screaming I ain't scared of you No Cause there's nothing stronger than a heart Fighting for the truth So hold your nose Can't involve Someone let me through I'm going down To the bottom of the sea Until I found Searching for my destiny with 
<laughs> Thank you. Man, great song. I love that. Are y'all doing okay out there tonight? Is everybody having a good time so far? Yes? Okay. Good, good, good. Okay. Are you are you doing good? You you having a good time? Dude, I'm having a great time. Are I you kidding too. me? Ben, are you having a good time? I'm having a great time. Awesome. It's great. It's a great time. Ross, are you having a great time? Okay. Just making sure. <laughs> Make sure everybody's having a good time. Yeah. Okay, so uh uh let me I'm gonna ask you about one that you may or may not have brushed up on. But maybe you can just pick one that would fit in this vein because you've written plenty of, of love songs. But I, I've got uh, two, two of my best friends in the world are here tonight okay. on their 25th wedding anniversary. My oh, friends congratulations. Travis and Cammie Moffat right back there. Y'all wave. Yep, 25. Cheers. 25, right? 25 years tonight. Congratulations to so, that. Speaking of cheers, cheers to us. Got it. it I'm picking up. Yeah. You getting it? Totally get it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> We're in the right key. I think. Uh, congratulations to you guys. That's, that's amazing. I love hearing that. I think that deserves a toast. We should raise a toast to these fine ladies and gentlemen back here. Happy 25th. That's awesome. Congratulations. Cheers. All right, those for my girl. We're we're on seventeen, so that's not too shabby. We're we're, we're getting up there. Yeah. Send the song back home to the 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 person who does all the real work. some singers out there. I, just, I don't want you to be scared, okay? I feel like, I feel like um, everyone needs to take a deep breath real quick and just let it out. And it's, it's only life, you know? It's only music. We can all relax and have a good time here, all right? If you feel like singing, you know, sing along. I mean, don't ruin the moment. It's my show. But um, if you think you can support in a, in a melodic way, then, uh, then please do. It's called Getting in the Way of Your Own Song. I interrupted my own song for a poorly conceived joke. It's your song. <laughs> it's my song. It's your career to dive, brother. Cheers to us, my darling. Raise your champagne glass. Let's pour the box of Polaroids. All over the floor and talk about the past You were such a young thing I was just a kid Baby, we had no idea Honey, I would do the same thing if we did Come 
a cigarette Baby, just let them hang out of our mouth Yeah, now look at you Laughing like you're 19 Look at me Trying to take you in A few more miles under the hood Damn girl, we look good Yeah, baby, we're the best we ever been Let's take it to the Polaroid For ten years down the road When we're looking back When we're looking back Baby, when we're looking back Baby, when we're looking back, Baby, looking back. Cheers. Congratulations. Yeah. Thanks for singing with us, Kyle. That was great. That was fun. And Crosby yeah. Stills Nash up here, man. Yeah. Let's go take on the world. I think we can. I think we can. You know, I'll tell you a funny story. Uh, Wade, Wade and I did a show up here uh, coming out of the pandemic where we just sat up here and, and swapped songs. And uh, we, we, we surprised Wade. I brought Tara up. And, and she and I covered that song that you just played. Oh, that's played. fun. And I hope you never see it on the internet. <laughs> oh, now I want to. I'm going I'm to Google search it. No, she did great. She did a great job. I bet. My wife said I have no a lot, doubt. lot better than I do. We got some but powerhouse song. We got some powerhouse wives. It, we do have powerhouse yeah. wives. You, your wife has, like, not only does she, like, put up take with care me. of everything at the house and put up with you, but Well, not every... Like, I mean, I chip in. I'm not like... <laughs> not like a jerk, but yeah. but she she's got all kinds of stuff going. Yeah, she's a busy she's a busy lady. She's an artist and a business coach and just yeah 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 she does it all and she's hot. <laughs> <laughs> There's the plug. Mary with Susan was waiting for it right, <laughs> right there right there. Well, uh, do you want to, I, I want to just let you pick. I mean, you want to play something old, play something new? I mean, pick a song that you want us to hear in the Dosido -si -do Big Barn tonight. Let me play, uh... well, hey guys, I don't remember asking you, <laughs> okay? All right? Can you hear me in the back? <laughs> Let me play something new and then we'll get back to some old ones. Yeah. Tell me which one though, because I love all the new ones. I'm trying I wanna, to think. I want to hear, the, hear um, the story. I don't want to do, I don't want to like pick mine and play a downer, but I, uh, this is an important song to me, so I want to. I want to make sure I play it before we move on to something else. Okay. Um, let me just make sure I remember it real quick. You get all kinds of grace here. <laughs> all kinds of grace from... I hope I don't need it. <laughs> So um, this is one of my favorites to play, or uh, off the new record, I feel like if there's a, a uh, I don't know, like an anchor, I kind of think of songs on records as like, here's the, here's the anchor song, here's what like the soul, the heart of the record is, and then kind of build around it. This one uh, is that for me, and 
I mean, it talks a lot about the last couple of years, but also a lot of things that happened inside those years for me personally, losing a friend and and um, just the, the disillusionment of not only what's happening, but also just as you get older and and you you just rethink, you know, what's fair, what's just, is do those things exist? Because um, life is just unfair. You know, there's no rhyme or reason to, to the stuff that happens. So there's a certain amount of freedom in that, in, in not being, you know, feel like you are holding the world up, but also it's a scary kind of, you know, free fall too. So, I mean, this song is definitely an intense song to sing for me, but it's also something about it feels like it's an it's a honoring of the people that are in it, and I try to sing it every night if I can. Not if I'm at a loud bar where people are throwing beer bottles, they don't, they don't get this song. literally reviewing the lyrics in my mind right now we're just soaking it in <laughs> yeah I bet I bet that's we're, what everyone's doing we're just sitting on the tarmac waiting for the plane <laughs> to take off ladies and gentlemen our captain is <laughs> ill prepared to fly this airplane sit uncomfortably while he reads the manual I was born Scared of everything Already worn Down to a real thin skin I don't know why I am the way I am God knows I've tried To be a simple man A simple man Wish that I could find a way To shake the world off of my shoulders These days I so afraid just to wake up and turn over I don't know can't tell if we're in heaven or in hell only thing I know for sure it's nothing anymore She was young, so young, so wild-eyed and beautiful. And everyone, my God, everyone said so at the funeral. And it's not. kind of fucked up right are we spinning on we're spinning on wish that I could find a way to shake the world off of my shoulders my god I'm so afraid just to wake up and turn over I don't know if we're in heaven or in hell Only thing I know for sure Is nothing anymore Nothing anymore Nothing anymore I know nothing 
nothing anymore Wish that I could find a way To take the wood off of his shoulders My God, I'm so afraid Just to wake up and turn over I don't know, can't tell If we're in heaven or in hell Only then I know for sure Is nothing anymore Nothing anymore I know nothing anymore Thank you. Yeah, man, I love that. You get to edit your audio before you send it out, right? We do, but we'll leave it in for the podcast because or the, the the video podcast because YouTube will not hit me with an excessive fine that the FCC will if we accidentally leave that one word right. in that song. Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> My work here is done. <laughs> I told you guys I was going to take a minute to tell you about our sponsors. And, and just real quick, we could not make nights like tonight happen uh, without the help of our corporate sponsors. And first off, I, I want to tell you, the Griffin Realty Group, y'all raise your hands right back there. Um, I am closing on my house on Friday, and they sold it for me. So, yes, yes. So if, if, if you're in the market to try to understand what's going on in the crazy real estate market today. You want to know what your house is worth. You want to sell your house. You want to buy a house. Man, do business with people that support the things that you love in your community. And uh, the Griffin Realty Group has been doing that for us. And I can now tell you, not just as, as a fellow music lover with them, but I can tell you as their client uh, that they do an amazing job, and I know they would do that for you. So uh, they're sitting right back there. Say hello to Joel and Christy on the way back, and thank you for uh, for what you do to help make nights like tonight happen. Yeah, and then my friends, my new friends from Caldwell Communities over here, uh, we've got people that uh, with us tonight that, that build homes. Uh, David Weekly out in the Highlands, uh, which is uh, one of... Caldwell Community's newest communities that's just south of here in spring. And then uh, if you want to learn more about it, they've got a few little brochures sitting right there on your table, one about Highlands and then one about Chambers Creek, which is their newest community just north of here in Willis. So thank you guys for being at the show tonight. And uh, man, Caldwell Communities does a great job not only building communities, but supporting art in the communities uh, where they build. Then my friends at Chicago Title, uh, they are uh, the best title company around. Um, and uh, if you have a real estate transaction, make sure that uh, you ask for Chicago Title. So, man, thank you. That was my Porter. Like I'm like Porter Wagner on the Grand Ole Opry. Without, I'm impressed. Without the sequence. I was sitting know? here just like, wow, he's in the zone. <laughs> That's impressive. I have to rent a cabin to go hang out, you know, like you yeah, do. Yeah, absolutely. Get, get that shtick down. Get away. All right, so you talked about a new one. Then you talked about bringing us an, another old one that you know people want to hear tonight. Yeah, well, I heard a, a gentleman over here ask for this one. Um, Queen, the Queen. Yeah. Play this off the uh, self-titled record. I was born in Massachusetts Forged out of the fire Between the guitar kin from Hudson And the Queen of St. Mary's Choir In a little house on Lake Street The second child of four Looking back now we had nothing And who could ask for more? Oh, 
If I get so lost, you can't find me Won't you remind me That I got my mother's heart And I got my father's hands I've been baptized in the water And I came up a music man And I'm a husband, I'm a father I'm the product of his eye Between the guitar kid from Hudson And the Queen of St. Mary's choir I almost didn't do it, and you would have been really embarrassed on that high note. I'm so, I'm so grateful I did it. <laughs> it would have went like this. <laughs> I was a little worried, I gotta be honest. <laughs> I salute you, sir, <laughs> for your bravery. Well, my father kept a six string. Underneath the bed I'd sneak in while he was working I pleaded till my fingers bled I cut my teeth down in Atlanta Making tips and playing for free I chased a dream across the state line Found my bride in Tennessee Oh, if I get so lost You can't find me Won't you remind me mother's heart and I got my father's hands I've been baptized in the water I came up a music man and I'm a husband I'm a father I'm the product of desire between the guitar kid from Hudson and the Queen of St. Mary's choir you guide me when you can now Your blood is in my veins And your name's in my name It reminds me who I am now Who I am now I got my mother's heart I got my father's hands I've been baptized in the water Came up a music man And I'm a husband, I'm a father Desire. Between the guitar kid from Hudson and the Queen of St. Mary's choir. Thank you. I love, I love that song, man. I've been saying that all night. I love that song. I love that <laughs> song. It's so cool to see, I mean, you know, like certain people singing along to certain songs, and then you got certain people like that have night two, two, two night tickets that are singing every song. That's awesome. And uh, that's cool. And then you got guys in the back that are like, why did my girlfriend bring me to this? <laughs> Or vice They're trying versa. to play it cool, though, right? Yeah. Try, trying to play it cool. Okay, so I want to ask you uh, about a song that you released, and I'm not sure which project you released it on. It was after the self-entitled. Um, and it's a song called Shaky Bridges. Man, that's a great, great song. Tell, Thank you. tell us a little bit about the, the writing of that one and play that one for us. Um, yeah, I think this one was pretty early on into the into the project. Really the beginning of this song was kind of me having like a 15 year career as a songwriter, like signing a publishing deal really young, out of, right out of college. It was like kind of, I was writing it right at the time where like one season was ending and I was moving and kind of being more deliberate in what do I really want to do um, at this point in my life. and. The kind of the beginning of that song started as me coming to grips with 
um, the realities of like, don't mess with your muse too much. Like don't, don't sacrifice who you really are for any sort of gain, whether it's financial or popularity or, um, cause it just never works out. Like it might work out in one way, but in a real sense, it never pans out to like change who you are for something that isn't real, you know? Yeah. So it started that way, and then it just kind of felt like you could say that about any, like, not music, but anything, really. Just we all have opportunities where we can make decisions that go against that, whether it's conscious or God or Jiminy Cricket, whatever you prefer to call it, like, you know, your, or your gut. There's a reason that that's such a term. Like, there's a feeling that you get, and you're like, oh, this just doesn't. Even though on paper it looks like this should be okay, it should be right, there's something in you that's like, it's not the right thing, you know? Yeah. And we, uh, in our house with my wife, it, we say, it, does it feel hot or does it feel cold? Like, does this opportunity feel hot, like you're excited about it, it feels like in touch with your spirit, it feels right, or does it feel cold? And it's kind of a song about, about that. And, uh, and I do want to say that on this record, the McCreary sisters were on this, and I've gotten a few opportunities to record with them. And I should have, I re- I'm, I'm embarrassed to say that I, I don't know her first name, but one of the McCreary sisters passed away a couple of weeks ago. Um, I, think, I think she was the oldest sister, and I got a, a chance to work with her and all, and all of them a couple of times. And they're such a special group of singers they're so important to like musical history and we're really lucky to have them in Nashville and I've been really fortunate to work with them over the years so um do want to send this out to her and yeah. and her family um on this tour so cheers to the McCurry sisters yeah. <clears throat>
We've all done things we wish we never did And God knows we will a thousand times again But we are a blade that is made strong by fire Every healer has been hurt Every honest man has lied Crossing those shaky bridges your soul you could buy the world for the price of your soul you could buy the world for the price of your soul Yeah, thank you. Are y'all still doing all right out there tonight? Okay, listen, I, I need your active participation for what we need to do right now. Sean, I need a liner that we're going to kick the radio show off with, okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, like That's that, like, perfect. sorry, no, the, so like the, the soda's kicking in. I'm you thinking. say, this is Sean McConnell, and this is real life, real music, and then you guys are just going to go absolutely nuts, okay? Can y'all do that? All right. So, cue you, and then I'll go like this when we've been nuts enough, okay? I say, this is Sean McConnell, and, and this, this is, is real, real life. life, real music. Okay. Perfect. In your best James Earl Jones voice. <laughs> well, that's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> this is Sean McConnell, and this is real life, real music. How does it feel to have Cue that much the power? Big music. In hands? Yeah. It feels good. I get it for about that long. <laughs> you really every other that, week. Like, yeah. Stop now. <laughs> All right. Well, we've got time for a few more, Sean, and I, I wanna ask you, uh, I wanna ask you about a song that really stood out to me uh, on the on the new project. Um, and that was the song uh, What the Hell is Wrong with Me? And, and man, I mean, like... The Pink Bunny song. The, is the, yeah, yeah, the Pink yeah. Bunny song. I, I love the irony of upbeat songs with, like, gut-wrenching lyrics and questions. <laughs> it's you know a topic I mean? you can only talk about if you kind of take it in jest. You, you, otherwise, yeah. you'll just hate yourself. Right, yeah. right. So t t tell us about hating yourself and then play the song. <laughs> <laughs> How much time do you have? <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. Um, yeah, I, I just, I, I, I just, you wake up and you like have your own issues, and you're like, why do I, why do I feel this way? Why, I have, a, I have a good life and this and that. And there's, there's just seasons you go, or at least I go through that. A lot of my friends go through where, you know, it's just, it's difficult, and I feel like I, uh, I don't know. I don't really know. It's just, I'm at a loss for words. I guess that's why I wrote a song about it. Gotcha. Just trying to get your craft together and, and figuring out how you tick and be a healthy person and, and why you are the way you are and where it comes from and memories and yada, 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 blah, 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 therapy, therapy, <laughs> All right. stuff. Play the song for me. <laughs> I will tell you one fun thing about the song, which All is right. not... Dark, which is for the song. My brother drove up to Nashville from Atlanta to put on a very hot, heavy pink bunny costume for the music video. Um, 
and it was like a hundred degrees outside and it was like a 12 hour day. Wow. And it was one of the most fun times I've ever had making a music video. <laughs> so if you ever see the video and you wonder who the pink bunny is, that's my brother. What key do we play this one in? B. B? B. That's not B. Oh, yeah. Did I hear it came out too? Do not question Ben. I'm such a professional. <laughs> this is why your parents make you take piano lessons when you're little, so you don't end up using a capo. I can't write songs like that, though. <laughs> well, <laughs> Y'all make a great team. <laughs> <laughs> How about it for Ben Allman, ladies and gentlemen? I will brag. I, I will embarrass Ben for just a minute, see so if you need to look away. You can, but... Um, I think we realized today we've been playing music together for, what, what did we? 2014? 2014 or so. How many years is that? I also can't do math. Yeah, I can't either. Eight. Eight, <laughs> eight years. years. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, whenever I get the chance to, to bring Ben, uh, I do. He's, he's one of my favorite musicians and, and one of my best friends at this point. We've created a lot of music together. If you've heard... Um, the secondhand smoke record, like all of the piano and all the synth and all the wizard sounds, as I call them, were this guy right here. And then uh, on the uh, on the latest record, a horrible, beautiful dream. He's playing a lot of the well, all of the organ, a lot of the piano. I think some. I don't know if we did any synth on that record, but. Um, I think Billy played a lot of the piano. Yeah, my friend Billy Justina, who some of you might have seen me play with here on the stage. Uh, over the course of a couple of years. But uh, yeah, Ben's an amazing person and an amazing player, and he's been on tour with a bunch of really awesome bands that you guys know and love, and he's just a really talented guy, so really glad that he's out here with me this week. Just 
just wake up and feel like they're okay What the hell is wrong with me? so much yeah yeah that work is that a game plan totally. we got a game plan i only right. heard the one all right i'll lead you right into okay. it i think we got it okay. i think we got it have y'all had a good time tonight uh let's see our next my, my very next guest will be the very first uh he's actually the very first country concert I ever went to. My dad took me to the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo, and we saw the Gatlin brothers sing All the Gold in California. And I'll have Larry Gatlin sitting right here in this seat in a couple of weeks. And if you enjoyed this, this format tonight of getting to kind of take a look behind the songs, then uh, come, out, come out and see us again. We've got a bunch of great shows coming up through the end of the year and uh man i want to say thank you again for kicking off your texas tour with us here tonight thanks for having me man i've really really enjoyed this thank you always special here well uh we're, we're not going to get out of here without you singing the song that uh well i know you're going to play a couple of nights at green hall aren't you on this run yep the end of this run this friday saturday yeah I think, saturday and, sunday and i tell you what uh the internet is littered with videos of people screaming this next song at the top of their lungs in Green Hall that I want to ask you for. And uh, that's one you've been singing for a long time that uh, everybody else likes to sing with you, a song called Reckless Love. I think we can do that one. <laughs> I try. What key is this one in, Ben? <laughs> Capo Zero. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ben, he was asking you what, what he is. <laughs> this song is in the key of D. <laughs> Perfect. I thought you were going to try to make a joke, but you literally just said the key, which is great. I told you that I was going to tune my guitar for this audience, so let me hold up my end of the bargain here. If I knew any good jokes, I would tell them right now to buy time while you're tuning. Well, we're almost done. The, the pain is almost over. By the way, the video podcast is unedited, so you'll be able to watch Sean tune his guitar <laughs> as many times as you want on the video <laughs> podcast. Be sure and check it out. If you want to see how good someone gets at tuning their guitar after playing it for 30 years, <laughs> tune in. I see what you did there. Self-deprecating. Silence. Awkward. Dead air. <laughs> Fill the dead air. I try to love you. The best I can. Try to love you, yeah, 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 best I can. 
But you're so reckless You're so reckless Yeah You're so reckless With my heart With my heart You're so reckless You're careless, stupid, crazy, and dangerous with my heart, baby. But when you kiss me, it lets everything slide. I get so right. You're a reckless love And I'm a broken heart in your hands And you're a reckless love And I desperately understand You're childish, selfish, hopeless But baby, she's where the joke is If you just whisper at night It all disappears with a light The kids are Thank you guys so much. Yeah. Man. I keep saying thank you for being here, but thank you for being here. This has been a hey. great, this, is, this has been an amazing Thank night. you. You and guys I, are paying me to be here. Yeah, no kidding. It's no, great. Thank it's you for deal. having me. It's my pleasure. And you'll be here again tomorrow night if you've liked what you've heard yeah. tonight. Uh, there, there may or may not be tickets available for tomorrow. I don't know, but you can check it out. Uh, okay, so I, I, the first time I heard this song, uh, I, I, and I knew you were coming here. I, I couldn't wait to uh, ask you about this song. Uh, and, and 
if you would, leave us with this one tonight. And, you know, what we've all just been through, and I think those of us that are in the, the, the music business or, you know, whatever business you're in, if it was affected by the pandemic, I, I think, at, at least for me, I have uh, definitely a new appreciation for a lot of things uh, that maybe I took for granted or maybe I didn't notice or maybe weren't there, uh, like to go margaritas. I mean, those are pretty good. Um, yeah. You used to not be able to get those, but one of the gifts of the pandemic. But uh, <laughs> so, but you, you put a song on uh, the newest record, which by the way, if you don't have it, uh, uh, get it. I think maybe... We've got oh, Ross. Yeah. Ross is right over here. We've got some vinyl uh, copies of the record that will, if you want to grab one of those tonight. Um, and leave Can I make a plug it. too, real quick? Please do. A shameless salesman yeah. plug. Please do. A low down, dirty, feel my gas tank plug. Yeah. Um, we have uh, the records over there. We also have a T-shirt we printed just for this run. It's got all the dates on the back of it. Sweet. Um, so we got kind of a limited amount of those, but um, we brought them out for these few shows. And y'all have seen fuel prices, so let's put a little gas in their tank so they can get across Texas <laughs> this week, because Texas is kind of big and takes a lot of fuel. And hot. So, hot. Uh, so this song that you wrote, and and you know this is definitely one of those ones. I want to hear what you have to say about it, but you say a whole lot in the song itself. Um, did this idea actually come? Were you actually thinking of the last performance that you had? Uh, before you left, before the pandemic started? Yeah. Where was it? Where was that last performance? You know what? I was try in my memory, I, f I have a room that I was in, and I don't know if it was the last or not. I feel like everything's kind of foggy, you know, in the past couple of years. But um, I think it was a room in, I think I was in Europe, and... Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, and I wrote, when I wrote the song, I was thinking about, um, like when I played that song and I got off the stage, whatever room it was in, I can't remember, I think it was Europe, but just that we, you know, nobody in the music world knew like that they were playing their last show for a year or two years, depending. Yeah. Um, and yeah, like you said, like the things you take for granted, like I was telling Ben earlier, I was like, oh my God, it, I can't believe I'm saying this, but like, I'm having so much fun at soundcheck. <laughs> like, I miss soundcheck. I miss, you know, yeah. and in the song, it's like just being in a green room, like them bringing you beers in a green room and like changing your strings and just seeing like the gross things on the wall that bands have written with Sharpies and just like <laughs> kind of your environment. Like everyone's yeah. got their thing. Like for bands and for artists, it's like normally green rooms and hotels and driving and you get tired of that when you're doing it full time, but then when it's gone, you're like, oh man, I kind of miss it, even those things. Yeah, yeah. Well, and it's a great, I mean, it's just a great metaphor in general to looking at what we have like a night like tonight when we get to gather together and eat a meal and hang out and listen to great music and, and uh, remember to appreciate those things, right? Absolutely. All right. Well, I wonder if you'll end, this, end our evening with this totally. beautiful composition. I just need to have a quick conversation with Ben about what key this song is in. <laughs> I, this is why I always have a set list. I was like, I don't need one tonight. I needed one. That doesn't help me at all. Play me the one. The one. Got it. Found it. Yes. We're in. <laughs> We're in. We cracked the mainframe. <laughs> Made it through the firewall. <laughs> I want to be that guy in a movie so bad. Like... <laughs> The guy with the headset on, yeah. and he's just got like this old laptop that made it through props somehow, but it's like from like the 90s, and he's just saying random terms like, <laughs> I cracked the mainframe. I want to do that. <laughs> if there's any movie makers and you guys need that guy. Half the people in here are like, what the hell is going on right now? <laughs> Sean needs to get out more. <laughs> 
He's gotten kind of squirrely over the past <laughs> two years. He can't tune his guitar anymore. God, this had to be the last song. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you. If I would have known As the curtain came down It would stay there for years I'd have turned right around Told the boys to keep playing Till I wore my voice out Hell, if I would have known As the curtain came down Oh God, Ben, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Um, how appropriate for this song. <laughs> Is it the chorus right there? I think the, it's not awkward. It wasn't awkward. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Tracy. Um, let me help him out. Awkward! <laughs> we were having such a moment. I messed it up. You packed up the J45? Yeah. Gosh dang it. All right. Let's pretend that we just sang, If I would have known <laughs> as the curtain came down. This one's for Tracy, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'd have packed up the J45 Just a little bit slower Stood by those amplifiers just watch the tunes glowing Lit up a cigarette And just hung around Hell if I would have known As the curtain came down I'd have sung every note with a little more passion With a lump in my throat Just kept that apple phone thrashing I'd have stood on stage Till they cut off the sound Hell if I would have known the curtain came down Play a little piano there Hell right. I'd have sat in the green room I'd have drunk all the wine And read all the horrible things on the walls That the bands left behind I'd have laughed like a schoolboy I'd have cried like a clown Hell if I would have known As the curtain came down I'd have sung every note And just a little more passion With a lump in my throat 
Just kept that apple phone thrashing I'd have stood on stage Till they cut off the sound Hell if I would have known As the curtain came down If I would have known As the curtain came down I'd have sung every note With just a little more passion With a lump in my throat Just kept that up a phone thrashing I'd have stood on this stage Till they kicked my ass out if I would have known As the curtain came down If I would have known As the curtain came down Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Sean McConnell. Thank you guys so much. Mr. Ben Allman.